Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, October 27th. Happy Halloween, which is in a couple days. Ah, you can see I still have... If you didn't see the Friday Night live stream, you're probably very confused right now. <laughs> but I put up this, uh, this Halloween-y backdrop, which I thought was kind of cool. And uh, I thought it was going to fall down during the live stream, but actually it's, it's still there. So I'm quite impressed. And as you can see, uh, Bela here is here, and Bela is here. I'm smoking my uh, Jesse Jones Halloween pipe, which I have nicknamed Bela. And I've got his buddy Igor the Tamper from Danny Shore, so we're, we're good to go. So, I honestly, I, I thought about doing something special for Halloween this year, and, and I just didn't have the time to put anything together. On the Friday night live stream, if you're interested, I did do a reading of Edgar Allan Poe's Telltale Heart, which was a lot of fun. I uh, haven't watched it, so I have no idea how it came across. Hopefully, hopefully it wasn't terrible. So if you want to see that, you can go to the live stream, and it was about the 50-minute point of the live stream, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, somewhere around there. I, uh, I'm not exactly sure. I was trying to time it for 45 minutes, but I think I, I was a bit later than that. So yeah, I was I was thinking about doing something special today, but I thought, you know, maybe just talk a little bit about Halloween and why Halloween is kind of a, a cool holiday. And I, I gotta admit it wasn't always for me. I loved it as a kid. You know, obviously. You get candy, right? You get to dress up, you, know, you get to be something different. Right? There was I remember that time and I remember it clearly where it wasn't just that I was going to put on a costume and get candy, but I was actually going to become something else. You know, I remember I was an astronaut. I've talked about that before. Or the year I, I went as Dracula and uh, my poor mother had to get Vaseline out of my hair. Uh, the, that was when I was, you know, I was going to be that thing. And then, you know, that lasts a couple of years and then it just becomes a candy grab and you get older and you go out with your friends instead of your family. and then it's definitely a candy grab. And then people start saying to you, aren't you a little old to be trick or treat? And, and then you stop. That actually never happened to me, but I imagine it's happened to a lot of people. And then as an adult, I, it, it kind of became, I, I felt that it was it was focusing too much on darkness and and evil, and I sort of got this what I'm going to call an extreme Christian view, and I and I don't mean that as a as a slam on anybody that does believe this. It's just for me, it didn't ultimately feel right. But uh, yeah, I kind of felt like it was an anti-Christian kind of thing for a long time. Uh, I don't have kids, so I never really had to get back into it because of that. But as the years went on, I became a pipe smoker and, and started to fall, started to resonate with me for some reason. You know, I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's always been my favorite holiday. So I like fall. I like football. I like the smell of burning leaves, which we do still get here, uh, believe it or not. Uh, yeah, just there's something about fall. Winter I could live without. Spring is always beautiful. Summer's great. But fall, there's something, something special about it. And I think those things just kind of came together somehow. And suddenly this Halloween season, oh, and I've got this love of, of old classic horror movies. And, you know, so Halloween became a time when you'd see those movies on TV. It always was, but for me, I just started to notice it more. Uh, got to enjoy a pipe in fall weather, got to talk to other folks about it. And it just became this thing that it was very important. Not, not important, but special. Yeah. And I always say, jokingly, that, uh, you know, this is the start of the holiday season. And it kind of is. Uh, you know, because 
once you hit Halloween, it's just a run to, to Thanksgiving, and then you got Christmas and New Year, and, and then before you know it, it's cold, bleak February. But uh, yeah, it's the beginning of a really special time of year. So I don't think of it in a in in a, in a way that you know focuses on the darkness, and you know a lot of people these days are putting up lots of skeletons and things like that. And that that's good. But that's not really what I'm focusing on. I'm, I'm focusing more on the fact that it's a beautiful time of year. It's a great time to have a pipe. There's happiness. You know, you notice the, the little title card that I used was kind of a happy peanuts kind of theme. And, you know, there's that kind of stuff, the carving of the pumpkins and all that. Yeah, I know they're spooky in a sense. But when a kid carves a pumpkin, it's never scary. You know, kids are happy. You get to give out a little bit of candy if you're lucky. Around here, we don't have anybody knock on doors anymore. Yeah, it's it, 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 you focus on those things, and then it's a good opportunity to watch a scary movie and 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 maybe get a little spooked and, and all. And that's that's good too. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. So, bottom line, I'm now a Halloween lover. Let me know what you think of the new backdrop. Should I keep it? <laughs> should, it should this just become the uh, the Game Rod Pipes backdrop? Uh, I don't know. This was, I got it off of Amazon. It was like 12 bucks. I thought it was it would be something fun to do for the live stream. And it just hung up with some binder clips. So it will, it will come down. Refolding it is going to be more complicated than folding a map. So you might never see it again, uh, depending on how hard it is for me to get it back together and into a reasonable package. Ah, uh, other news, my goodness, it's, uh, the stars are not aligning for me these days. So, you know, it's just, this, this year has been quite a year for me, you know, with my brother getting sick, my father-in-law getting sick, and eventually uh, he passed away. My wife's been back and forth to Pittsburgh. My car uh, had a catastrophic failure. Just all kinds of stuff's been happening. And work has been a pain. Um, it's just, we've, we've been really, really busy. And this time of year, everybody wants to get something done. So it just kind of ramps up and gets harder and harder and harder. Not harder, but busier. Um, yeah, and it just it just presses on until until you hit usually mid November. Although sometimes even then it doesn't it doesn't slow down. So I got all that going on, and it, it, you guys know I'm I've talked about it many times. I'm a scientist, and most of what I do these days is data analysis, uh, developing new analytic methods, uh, taking big data sets and moving them around and figuring out how to, how to deal with them, uh, and managing people that are actually in the lab generating the data. So that, that's what I do. And uh, you know what's darn important for that? A computer. And you know what my company is doing everything in its power to, to do? Uh, make my computer not work. I have been It's just been frustrating. They, well, I'll, I'll give you the quick synopsis. I have a laptop. I dock it at work. I dock it at home. Okay? And it has worked beautifully for years, just like that. I went into work last week, docked it, and the monitors wouldn't work. Okay. Put in a call, you know, oh, it must be your cable or whatever. Um, brought it home that night docked it, the monitor didn't work. Okay, so it's not working in two places. Well, they're still insisting that it's not the computer. Now, the thing is, this happened, everything else works fine, by the way. And there's two kinds of docks. I'm not going to get into too much detail on this, but if I plug it into the dock that I don't have, it works. If I plug it into the dock that I do have, it doesn't work. Something changed, though. It's not like, it's not like, 
I have an old dock, and that's why this is a problem. It's there's something different in the in the computer, and I just can't get anybody to listen to me. So that's what I'm dealing with. So now I got to install new docking stations and you know, redo all the cabling and everything. That's a lot of fun. And then this morning I woke up and it was a little chilly. We have hit you know fall weather where it's getting down into the 30s at night. For reasons I do not understand, my furnace does not seem to be working. It's a it's an oil burner and it both heats the water and and the house. Oddly, the water is still heating, but it doesn't seem to be responding to the thermostat. Thermostat still will turn on the air conditioning, so it's not that the thermostat is broken. I don't know, so I think I'm going to have to get a uh, get a repair guy out here. It's something in the electronics or the electrics between the thermostat input to the to the burner control and the burner control itself. And yes, I know quite a bit about electronics and I could take the burner control apart and see what's going on in there, but the truth is it's there, there's like there's like ninety wires going into this thing. That's an exaggeration, but there's at least twelve wires going into it. I don't know what any of them do. You know, it's just not my thing. So this is a time when I think calling in a pro is, is the right thing to do. I've done all the reset type stuff and everything I could think of. So, yeah. Fortunately, it's not that cold right now because it's going to take days to get somebody to come in. They're, they're not, they're, this time of year, they seem to be very busy. Not too cold right now. My biggest problem now is I got a clear path because I got chaos down here in the basement. Uh, I got to take the backdrop down, or they're going to be really confused. <laughs> you can see the backdrop's moving a little bit. I don't know why. Oh, it's my chair up again. Uh, I must have moved the chair up. Okay, there we go. Still moving. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry too much about it. So, yeah, I got to deal with this furnace thing now, and uh, uh, it's just, it just never ending. You know, there's, 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 it seems like every time you think you're going to be done and you're going to have time to do that stuff that you want to do, another thing comes up that you have to do. I know it's adult life. I know I'm complaining about things that everybody experiences. But darn it, sometimes it's good just to say it out loud and to, and to know that somebody else is listening. And to make matters worse, I'm noticing that there is a significant delay between what I'm, what I'm saying and what I'm seeing on the screen, meaning I will probably have to go in and do an edit on this video to adjust the time, the, the, not the time, the audio sync. If, if the audio is not perfect, well, the audio is never perfect, <laughs> but, it, but if it looks like you're watching a, an old Kung Fu movie, forgive me, I'll do my best. By the way, I didn't, I didn't show off the Halloween mug here. Filled with coffee today, filled with beer on Friday. And that's about it, really. Oh, I did spend time outside yesterday. I got the gardens all turned over and covered. Um, I usually cover them with uh, with newspaper. Um, I do this because it seems to really cut down on weeding the next season. And uh, yeah, so I've just been doing this for years now. I, after I pull everything out, I loosen up the soil, I put a layer of newspaper down, and then I have... Uh, Actually, the gates that I put around them, mostly to keep the dogs out, I lay that down on top of the newspaper and leave it for the year. Uh, this year, I, I decided to try cardboard. I got old cardboard boxes and did that. I'm hoping that that will just be a little bit more 
because the newspaper starts to shred up and everything over time and blows around the yard and I got a mess to clean up. So I hope the cardboard doesn't do that, obviously, and it might also provide a bit more protection and what I'm really hoping for is something that's going to just thermally insulate it to, to help with the um, composting process, I guess. I don't know. I'm making stuff up right now. Seems like a good idea. We'll see. One of the great things about gardening and really just about anything that I do for fun, it's all just a big experiment. We'll, we'll see what happens next time. We'll try something new. We're tinkering. I'm a tinkerer. But I'm not going to tinker with my furnace. And I'm also not going to tinker with your time anymore. I've wasted enough of your time for one Sunday. So I will be getting off to clear a path and prepare for having a, uh, a guy come in to look at the furnace. But first I will finish up this, uh, this one of bookshop in Bela. Bela will soon be returning to his coffin. Um, the day after Halloween, he goes back to sleep. He is joined by Igor and they both sleep peacefully for another year. I don't have a Thanksgiving pipe. I, I'm thinking about, I have a pipe that I think I'm going to turn into a Christmas pipe. I don't want a Thanksgiving pipe. Yeah, I don't need that. Did I miss the Thanksgiving Day release? I was thinking about buying that this year. Okay. So I'm going to let you go. I'm going to finish this pipe and I'm going to check the LJ Peretti website and see if I missed the Thanksgiving Day release. Thank you for putting up with this. Uh, I know it's been rambly. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I always appreciate you taking the time to, to join me for a pipe on a Sunday morning. So with that, my friends, I want you to all take care of yourselves. Have a happy Halloween. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now. Mm -hmm.